One of the most common uses for JavaScript is creating image rollovers, which can have a lot of cool effects. They are frequently used with images in a navigation bar or with navigational buttons. I haven't bothered to add the link to these, but it's easy to do as it is to any other image. But you can see the JavaScript is set up so that when you mouse over, which means if the mouse is over the button, the object, the image will change. If you mouse off, it changes back. This is one place where I really like copy and paste because while the code looks challenging, it's only challenging because there's three buttons. It's really the same code, exact, almost exactly the same, just changing the pictures. Let's look at the HTML portion of our code first because I've got my JavaScript in the header. In the body, I simply have an image and I've given it an ID of 01 button, 02 button, 03 button. My source equals buttons slash one underscore up dot gif. If you look in my lesson 13 folder, you'll notice that I have a buttons folder inside of it with each of the files. Now habitually, I include my Photoshop folder in case I am working somewhere else and need to download the entire thing and I can make changes to it and save it again as GIF or JPEG. So that way I have the exact template that I used. I won't ever access this through the HTML page, but it's not a very big file for a button, so I do upload it to my server so I have it as a backup. So for each one, I've created the image with an ID, the source which has the folder buttons, then the name of my image. I've given it alt text, and then I have an on mouse over, which calls my button 01, parentheses, that calls a function named button 01, and on mouse out, it calls button 01 off. And the other two are set up exactly the same way. Now this looks like a lot of code, but reality is that that function is for one button, and it simply repeats for each of the others. So you, what I did, and what you should do, is just copy and paste and make the appropriate changes. So really, we have a function named button01, and we're using our get element by ID, 01 button, and we're just changing our source to one down. When we mouse off, we call button01 off, and we just change it back to the original image. We're just changing the source. This is a very simple script that you can use over and over for each image. And that's how you do simple mouse overs with two button images.